Estimation of areas and volume is basic to most engineering schemes such as root alignment, reservoirs, construction of tunnels, and other ideas. The excavation and hauling of material on such schemes is the most significant and costly aspect of the work on which profit or loss may depend. Area may be required in connection with the purchase or sale of land, the division of land, or the grading of land. Earthwork volumes must be estimated to enable route alignment to be located at such lines and levels that cut and fill are balanced as far as practical to enable contract estimates of time and cost to be made for proposed work and form the basis of payment for work carried out. It is frequently necessary as part of engineering surveying projects to determine the area enclosed by the boundaries of a site or the volume of earthwork required to be moved. When we think of the Simpsons rule, we can visualize this. McCreed Software develops civil engineering and surveying software for iPhone and iPad to assist in surveying profession. In reality, the Simpsons rule is shown here. The Simpsons rule states that sum of first and last ordinance has to be done. Add twice the sum of remaining odd ordinance and four times the sum of remaining even ordinance. Multiply to this total sum by one third of the common distance between the ordinance, which gives the required area. Volumes by Simpsons Rule is a really useful app which uses Simpsons Rule to calculate a volume of earth from an odd number of cross-sectional area and the distance between the areas, which must be the same value. This app takes the number of cross-sections you have, the area for each one, and then calculates the volume by Simpsons Rule automatically. First, you want to download the app and open it. Volumes opens just as you see it here. We will take some values that were measured from a chain line project seen here. First, let's enter the number of cross sections. In this case, it's seven. Next, we can enter the distance between each cross section, which is 25 meters. And now we can enter the offset for each cross section. Number one is 3.6, add area data. Two is 5.0, add area data. Three is 6.5, add area data. 4 is 5.5, add area data. 5 is 7.3, add area data. 6 is 6.0, add area data. And 7 is 4.0, add area data. Once we add that last area, we get our volume of 843.33 square meters. When we compare the values of the Simpsons rule using hand calculations, the result is spot on. Huge time saver. Well, that's it. I highly recommend you guys downloading volumes if you're taking surveying or similar courses, anything like that to help with the Simpsons rule. Download it if you want to have Simpsons rule in the palm of your hand as well. Thanks again for watching, guys. Bye.